Hey everybody, uh, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Yes, I have a sleeve of Girl Scout cookie thin mints, which are my favorite. So I'll be enjoying these after dinner, but I had to hide them. <laughs> the hubby loves the Samoas, I love the thin mints, and he happened to get into the thin mints, so I had to put a small bit away. Anywho, um, <clears throat> this is mainly Tonic Studios, but I do have a small Etsy purchase here that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, it's a little different than I expected, but I'm still very happy. Um, so there's that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Yes, we can hear little Miss Karma crying in the background. I haven't been letting her in. <clears throat> Because a lot of y'all she gets right up in here and then she wants up and she wants down and she wants up and she wants down. Um, and I've been trying to make my videos quick. I will try to include her in some future videos, but you know, she, she, she is an attention stealer. That is for sure. Anywho, um, <clears throat> one of the items that we're going to see today, I have another one coming. I bought it for my sister. So, um, I think she'll be really excited. Anywho, we're going to start with this. This took actually forever to get here. Um, this was one order. I had missed out, um, on these, it's called the Scent with Love Envelope Die Set. And it's just a die, it's 27 dies. And it says the largest die is 8 by 8, which means it's not going to fit through a standard um, die cut machine. You're going to need a big one. So either the Spellbinders Platinum, not the 6, the original Gemini, not the Gemini Junior or the little one, and then the Big Shot um, Plus. And then the new one, the mechanical one, I have that. Um, this will fit through there too. Or if you have the Fiskers. But um, I wanted the set for this. Uh, the little pocket ones are you know, awesome to have as well. Um, and, and yes, I could have gotten, you know, just made this myself. But I liked all the different dies as well that came with it. So, and... This one here, I think if it was done in black, white, and gold, would just scream Gatsby. And those of you who have stuck around well know how much I love the 20s and I love Gatsby and Art Deco. And I saw that and it just screamed Gatsby to me. So I got that. And then I ordered this set. It... I believe it is still currently on the Spellbind, not the Spellbinders, the Tonic Studios uh, website. If I said Spellbinders earlier, I'm sorry. We know that I've been having squirrel brain lately. Um, <clears throat> but I just thought this was so sweet and it could be used for spring, summer. It could even be used for all of the holidays. This is called the Whimsical Wheelbarrow Die Set. So, like, here they have spring, and then they have a couple of fall versions. And, as you can see, they are big enough to add some little candy treats in there. Uh, there's 39 dies. The largest die is 7.2 by 5.9 inches. So, this will fit through the standard machine. So, if you have the big shot, and like that. So, so there it is. I was really excited to get this. I even love, you know, it's got the wheels and everything. So, got that. And then it came with this add-on. <clears throat> the Pretty Petals die set. It says there's four dies. Um, but, you know, you could use any die, you know, fl floral dies you have to decorate these however you want. 
Um, but I do like that this even comes with florals and then you get extras. So I thought that was nice. So that was one purchase. The other purchase that I got, so this is actually two tonic purchases and this Etsy. I'm going to save this for last. Um, <clears throat> I think I missed out on this when I first ordered um, the this like the Christmas series uh, shaker die sets. Um, I think it was sold out when I first ordered them. So, because I know I didn't do the gingerbread band man, because I'm not I'm not a I'm not big into gingerbread. I just I like gingerbread houses. But the whole gingerbread thing, it's, it's not my thing. Um, <clears throat> but this does come with five shaker dies. They're, they're always sold out, uh, the blisters for the tree. But even if you can't get them, you can like layer up a couple of the trees or use foam um, and then put acetate behind it. So... There's that. <clears throat> then um, I also got the balloon because I wanted this to make Easter eggs. I thought this would be fun for Easter. And I have some of these. I just wanted more. Um, and the refills come with 10. So there's that. And then the last, I'm trying to kind of make this a short video. The last tonic item I <clears throat> um, this sold out before I could even get it and I just kept my fingers crossed that it would come back and random perusing through the tonic website it did and this is the train and carriage die set I was waiting and waiting and waiting I believe it came out before Christmas, and that's what I wanted it for. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of trains. My uncle even has... So when his parents passed away, he turned their home into a giant... The whole home has railroad... Rail, has train sets running through it. I would never do that. But I think it's cool that, you know, he could. <clears throat> and the home was on the same property, so it's not like he had to go far, but... 60 dies. The largest die is 7.9 by 6. So I think this will fit in a standard machine. And it's going to be this one here. That's what makes it uh, so wide. So. Anywho. This can be Easter, birthday, 4th of July, Christmas, Halloween. It just, you know, how, how you decorate it. Um, so I was so excited to find this back. And this is the one I reordered uh, for my sister because I know she'll love it too. So that's it for Tonic. Um, I got those. And this was actually still, I think, at a good price. Not at the full retail, I think. Um, hold on. <clears throat> this was $35. I think it is more than that um you know plus i get the the sub because uh, i subscribe to the the craft kit so i get that subscription discount of 10 percent. so i'm not going to complain anywho um i forgot i ordered this because it came from canada so it takes a little longer for mail to get even though we're neighbors it takes forever but the etsy site is called cherry beam creations <clears throat> and I ordered five rubber stamps. And um, I, I briefly peeked at them. So they should, they're not big. They're not foamy. Um, but I bought these because I wanted them to stamp on the outside of mail. And... Those have been around for a while are going to say, oh yeah, this screams me. Um, <clears throat> I think it's cool. I think they make these themselves. And then they even um, laser cut out the wood, which I absolutely love. So the very first one 
Um, <laughs> yes. So that's all that's on this side, but the cat actually has more detail. He's kind of given that, it's hard to see, but his eyes are giving that side glance. <laughs> and that is such a cat. You know, cats look at you and they silently assess you. <laughs> it, you know, they silently judge you. And when I saw that cat, I was like, absolutely. So I, I'm hoping these stamp good because there's no foam. It is strictly the rubber. And then... Uh, the wood block. So there's that. <clears throat> These last three, last four are all nautical. My washer's dying. Sorry about that. So we have a little. Um, so I, I, I call, um, not pigeons, seagulls. I call seagulls flying rats. <laughs> Because they do, you know, they, they're always scavenging like rats. Um, some, I hope I'm not offending anybody because I know a lot of people have rats as pets, but I loved him because there's that stamp set. Um, I want to be as happy as a, a, is it a seagull with the, um, with the French fry or something along those lines. I've got a, quite a few stamps that say that. And I just think it's the cutest thing. So there's that. Then um, I saw this whale. And that is what he, he's a solid image. Again, I'm hoping it stamps well. The only thing I dislike is that I can't use a position, you know, stamp. Well, actually, that's not true. I've got a stamparatus and then I've got a stamping jig. Um, so, so there's that. And this, y'all know my struggle with pelicans. I love pelicans. I have since I was a little girl. Um, so there's this. Of course, there's more to him. The detail on this guy is absolutely beautiful. And super, 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 super excited. And I can't wait to try him out. I'm going to try these out this weekend. And what I'll do is when I stamp them, I'll take a picture of the stamped images and post them on the community page. So the washer, I think something, it works, but you can hear it. I think somehow the barrel got warped. So that's why we're hearing it. And so we're waiting for a tech to come. It just sounds absolutely horrendous. So I apologize. Uh, so it is what it is. That's what a home warranty is for. It covers your appliances too. And then this last image is, again, nautical. I love tall ships, galleons, schooners, old ships. I love them all my entire life. I was also, you know, I was a Navy wife for almost 12 years. Um, so I'm very partial to things nautical, ocean, that, but that was a love before I, I even met my ex-husband. Because, um, you know, I'm from Florida. But, so here we go. So this is what this side looks like. But, look at the detail. I am so excited. Like I said, <clears throat> I will stamp all these. And uh, post in, uh, a picture of all the stamped images on the community page this weekend. So... That's it. And again, I ordered all of these from Cherry Bean Creations in uh, White Rock, British Columbia, Canada. And I believe they actually make these as they're ordered, which I'm okay with because it did take a little bit to get here. And again, I figured that. So, so far I'm happy, um, but I will let you know for sure on the community page when I actually stamp these. So there it is. I'm going to close this here because it's time to go eat dinner and I want to hopefully get this posted tonight, Monday. I'm recording it Monday. I'm going to try to post it for y'all Monday. Y'all have a good night. 
Love y'all to pieces. Happy crafting and sorry about the washer. Bye-bye.